Yup, what's good, original crew, man? We're back. We're back with exposing the corporate, the most corrupt. Why I say exposing the corporate? Exposing the most corrupt mayor in America. Where could this be at? I have no clue. I ain't gonna hold you. It's a lot of places corrupt. Um, it's a lot of stuff y'all like. I always say the most important people to always vote for when it comes down to election time is your local government. That's just what's gonna affect you the most, right? Mm -hmm. Why well, you said <laughs> you said the real passive? I just said. Mm -hmm. You said mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey oh man, with that being said, before we get into it today, make sure you check out the links in the description box. Down below. You already know where to go if you want to first support. All you have to do is check out down below. Also, if you enjoyed today's visuals. Lucky to do with a thumbs up. But let's go. Let's check it out. Let's see what's about you. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Sir, can you explain to us a little bit? I will not. You guys step over there on public property. The goons have come out. Tommy G, they call me. Milwaukee representative. Hello, folks. I'm Tommy G. Today, we're looking into the most corrupt mayor in America, allegedly. The mayor. Is she a hero or a villain? Some. No. Shit. <laughs> we're in the town with potentially one of the most corrupt mayors in America. We're still looking, but this is just for videotaping. Look how many police they brought out here. Are you going to get in your vehicle? I'll get in mine. You get in yours? One day while scrolling through TikTok, I was assaulted by a barrage of videos covering Dalton, Illinois Mayor Tiffany Henyard. She refers to herself as the super mayor as well as the most powerful woman in Chicago's South Side. But does she use her power for good? People on the internet and in her own community have been calling her the most corrupt mayor in America. And here are some of the things she's been accused of. Stripping business licenses away from people that don't contribute to her charity, pay for play kickbacks and bribes, taking lavish first class trips on the taxpayer dime, making the city pay for her own personal ice skating rink, Using the taxpayer money as a marketing budget for self-promotion for things like 122 billboards with her face on it and using tens of thousands of taxpayer money dollars per month to hire a PR firm that's designed to clean up her image. And I'll give her this, her image is tough to clean up. Here's some more reasons why. She double dips as both the mayor of Dalton and the village of Thornton township supervisor and she's made it so that if she's not re-elected as supervisor, the incoming person would receive a 90% pay cut. She's racked up credit card debt like she's trying to set a record and she tells the residents things like better have my money and compares herself to Martin Luther King. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. It's alleged that she rolls around like a crime boss. Some people claim that she's even gone as far as having the cars of people that oppose her shot up to intimidate them. She rolls around in a convoy of extensive private security, of course on the taxpayer dollar, and it's said that she has the police force in her pocket partly due to the outrageous amounts of overtime she allows her officers to be paid. Again, on the taxpayer dollar. I hope you're noticing the theme here. Unfortunately for Tiffany and her police chief lapdog, Officer Lou Lewis Lacey, I have in my possession receipts, disciplinary forms, documents, and insider information that we will be diving into in great detail today. Folks, this channel does not- Damn, Tommy. Jeez. Tommy did his research. Hey, you do your research, bro. I don't- This is what I need a drink for. Mm. <laughs> you didn't need a drink. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. And for bullies. And by the end of my expose, I'm sure you'll draw the conclusion that Tiffany, Officer Lacey, and their cronies are not only bullies of the worst kind, but an absolute disgrace to the title of public servant. The FBI is currently investigating her, so I hope she gets to see this video, but I'm not sure what the Wi Fi situation is in Cook County Jail. Let's begin the episode. First day out and back to work like shit ain't nothing happening. Was gone a hundred nights some days, but shit I'm back in action. Pull on this block and put my gloves on just like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Hopefully, folks, if you're watching this right now, you have the privilege of living in a democracy. And if you live in a democracy, that means that you've elected people that should represent you and have your best interests at heart. Right now in the United States, we have a crisis with our politicians. There's an awful lot of people that are abusing their positions of power to enrich themselves and to f 
you the citizen. You can look at the national level where we have people like Tommy Tuberville, Nancy Pelosi, US senators and Congress people that while being full-time politicians are also somehow the best stock traders we've ever seen. They're outperforming Wall Street. Today, folks, we look at it at a local level. We're looking at the most corrupt mayor in America. And I have to say allegedly, because this mayor, Tiffany Henier, she likes using the legal system. People that don't agree with her or speak out against her. She's a lot of cases that have been filed. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all y'all black. And y'all sitting up here feeding and attacking on a black woman. I want to avoid being dragged into court by her. So I'm going to say this is all alleged. This is all my opinion. And we'll let the FBI, who's also in town right now, determine the facts of the case. We're speaking to a lot of people angry, upset, and ready to speak out against this mayor for all the egregious things she's allegedly done. <sighs> just be, a situation like this, just be careful. I'll say this, especially when it comes down to the citizens of the city, because y'all have to stay there. Unfortunately, with Tommy, I, I understand what you're doing, but you also are just a passerby. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You, you can be stirring up the pot as a passerby, and then you leave, but the people have to deal with the consequences. Yeah. And that's the only thing when like when trying to bring awareness to a situ certain situations, especially when you don't stay there. You can be like making it harder for the people who might come on to the camera and voice their opinions and stuff. But I also will say with that, you're not forced to do so. So yeah, you, you yeah. should know and, and nine times out of ten know the consequences behind it. If things that allegedly she's done already before, yeah. then you're making that decision to get on camera and speak. Yeah, sure. Folks, let's pull up, let's hit the streets, and let's dive into this story. Mayor Tiffany, hero or villain? She's a villain. She really don't be doing nothing for us. She tried to make a big show, a big act, but she's not doing stuff that really needs to be done. We heard that the FBI is in town looking into her. They are. What is she allegedly guilty of, do you think? Stealing that money. Because you know her family work with her. Most likely she's stealing money and giving it to her family and using it for herself instead of giving it to the people that actually need it. And she be having her names all on the trucks and stuff. Like, it be everywhere. Bills obtained by Fox 32 under open record laws shows Thornton Township paid more than $10,000 for the vinyl signs themselves. If you could speak with her directly, anything you would say to Tiffany? Do better. <laughs> Did you know the mayor, Tiffany? Yeah. Hero or villain? Villain! Yeah. He's a gangster! Pulling up to the administration building, we're meeting trustees people that are our public servants and want to speak out against her. Let's see who we have gathered. So Mayor Tiffany, hero or villain? From what I know, villain. Her, the security guards is getting like 300 hours on their checks and stuff. The officers are paid every two weeks, which without overtime is 80 hours. But when they're put on Henyard's detail, that 80 hours balloons to well over 100 hours, sometimes 200 hours. And in the case of officer... If you're just the mayor, what the fuck you need with that much security? You ain't the president. Like, child, what you got going? That now that's the biggest like, red flag like, for me. You don't need security as what a you mayor. Really doing that you need that security around a clock like that. Not like that. Like if you do need security sometimes, you know, every now and then, and that should be out of your pocket now in the city. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. But that, that that's automatically gonna bring red flags is the fact that because I know mayors. And I don't ever really see a mayor rolling around with security. Yeah, and then just the the, the total amount of... Child, let me just... Child. Oh, there's one motherfucker. There's too. one, Terry. You racking up. Damn, look. Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm gonna need no hours. And you still... He ain't work no hours. He still and got st paid. And still got paid. Nah, nah. It, look at this. Nah, How Terry. How you getting that? Right, no, I'm saying, like, what are you doing? Put that thing in reverse, Terry. Terry. That's the reason why he milking it. Uh -uh. Young last May, 303 hours worked over a two week period. That oh, resulted how? in a single paycheck of more than $13,000. How does a person put in a two week pay period, 303 hours? That's impossible. How are you securing somebody in your sleep? How are you getting 300 hours so you know that she's pulling money from somewhere? I don't know where. She's not pulling out her butt, so clearly we know this from something. I'm rocking some new attire, okay? Rip mainstream media. They try to. Hell no, I just did the calculations. Nigga, you ain't sleeping. 
He ain't working. <laughs> no, I'm just did the calculation. He had over 300 hours. Hey, it's barely even 300 hours in two weeks. He, that's what I'm saying. He not working. <laughs> if you do the calculation 24 hours times 48. He probably work when they I mean, go out and 14. do stuff. But you're not working to be getting all these hours, baby. 24 times 14. That ain't number 336. Bro, you're not sleeping. That means every... Le no. No. He's sleeping. Well, huh? That ain't I, what I'm saying. I'm, I'm just, saying he I'm, not... He, jokes. I'm jokes. saying... He ain't working for real. Do we not something? I'm rocking some new attire, okay? Rip mainstream media. They've tried attacking me, this channel, because we stand for truth and actually talking to people. So if you want to join the resistance, join the movement, link is in the description. And I'm actually going to FaceTime three people that buy it in the next 48 hours. I'm picking three of you to FaceTime, talk to you, connect to you. So join the movement, link in the description. Mm -hmm. What do you expect of a mayor when you elect them? What kind of behavior do you expect? Leadership. Inclusiveness. Mm -hmm. What is a trustee? The governing bodies. We maintain the finances, amend, and make laws for the community. Now, if she <laughs> does indeed go to prison for this, will you be putting any money on her commissary? No. She's using the police as her scapegoat to intimidate, retaliate. People speak against her. They're giving people tickets. It's just a lot of stuff. The police around. are in her pocket? Yes. Are they on her payroll or what? Police are payroll. Do you think she's a hero or a villain? A villain. She is spending all the Village of Dalton tax dollars and Thornton Township, which is part of the Village of Dalton. This is Valeria Stubbs, a vocal critic of the mayor who believes her home was shot up at the request of the mayor, stemming from a bitter feud they had last summer. Asked if she believed that Henyard was behind the shooting, Stubbs did not hesitate. Absolutely, she told the New York Post. We have some of the highest taxes, property taxes, in the Southland, and because we have a food desert out here, lack of businesses, we need all the tax dollars that we can get. She created Greenwood Falls ice skating rink that is never open, that does not generate any revenue whatsoever. And it's your mayor, Tiffany A. Henry, the people's mayor. We're finally in the second phase of Greenwood Falls. And remember, we do this for you residents because we care. You come first. I saw a video where she was in the ice rink having a party. Only when she's having something is the ice skating rink open. So she basically has a personal ice rink that she's funded through taxpayer dollars and gets to use for her own parties. Yes. When she went to a board meeting and dressed as Nino Brown, said that the residents blink better have her money. What's being referred to right now is the town hall meeting when Mayor Tiffany walked in dressed as Nino Brown from the movie New Jack City with the Rihanna oh, song did. playing in the background better have my money as a message to her residents. Every single resident. Pay me what you owe me. What wow. she fails to realize is that that is Pay not me. her money. That is the- Pay me. Pay me what you owe- Girl, what are you talking about? Like, wow. seriously. Bro, y'all just gonna have to- Well, she got, she got her bylaws. Yo, she figured out how to Baby. manipulate the system. But nine times out of ten- like a lot of times in situations like this, what it ends up happening is the FBI do come yeah, in, yeah, that that and be you the do only... go go to jail. You go to jail for years. Yeah, that'd be the only way to get her out of that position. And out of and the, some of those stipulations she got enforced, yeah, won't be carried out. Yeah, so because you talking about a 90 percent pay drop. Facts. Don't nobody want to take the job then. Man, how can you even enforce something? Taxpayer money. But this is much bigger than Mayor Tiffany. This is a larger trend around the country of public servants and institutions showing that they have no regard where our money goes or how they piss it away. For example, the Department of Defense has failed their audit the last 10 years in a row and are unable to account for up to $3.1 trillion worth of assets. They are accountable to us. We fund them. So my question to them is, where is our money? And they need to answer that. There's two sides of this. There's the township and the village, and she kind of double dipped. She's the mayor of the. She's the mayor of the village. She's the mayor of the village, and she's also a the supervisor. supervisor for the Thornton Township. And combined, her income from this job is. Well, I say over three hundred thousand dollars a year because she gets perks too. But she would make it that if you, the next person that gets elected would get twenty-five thousand dollars, right? right? So that's a kind of way to ice out the competition. She was appointed to that position, not elected. If she was elected to that position, that salary would go down, and I believe it was approximately fifty thousand. The FBI is in town. Do you think Tiffany 
Yes. Know she's cooked or do you think she thinks she's innocent or what do you think? I really don't think that she thinks she's going to jail. I'm also a former Cook County Sheriff for the Department of Correction and I suggest that she go and take a tour of that facility so she can see what's in store for her. That's folks, you don't need to be a corrupt mayor to need a lawyer. Is it fair to say that Mayor Tiffany probably needs a good lawyer? Yes, yes. absolutely. absolutely. Mayor Tiffany, hero or villain? <laughs> villain. How is Tiffany doing with taxpayer money? I don't have enough information and that kind of goes to the root of the problem. There isn't much transparency. There isn't much uh, back and forth as far as, you know, hey, this is what we're doing. This is why we're doing it. Things of that nature. But then it also goes into different things like types of accommodations and things. And I know a lot of people have heard things about that as far as like, you know, You don't need to be in the Bellagio <laughs> exactly. penthouse. If you're going to get the stipend, then you use it for your meals. You use it for your transportation and things like that. You don't go then and put everything on, say, the town credit card. They say if you want to find the truth, the best way to do it is to follow the money. So we obtained the Thornton Township credit card statements through a Freedom of Information Act request and got to digging. When we looked through these, we noticed that Tiffany herself does not have a credit card. However, another one of her lapdogs, Thornton Township and Village of Dalton Administrator Keith Freeman, has made some awfully sus purchases in the last year. Take, for example, a round trip flight from Chicago to D.C. Despite an economy ticket running about $200, Tiffany and Keith booked flights on the Thornton taxpayer dollar for $1,265 each. That's first class class, folks. Another set of transactions wow. is the Bliss Beauty, a local hair salon. $565 on January 16th, $1,225 on February 3rd, and $1,735 on February 19th of 2023. Now, my question for Keith and his purchase of $5,400 on beauty supplies is, are these wigs for you, and if that case, Slay Queen, or are you secretly buying wigs for Mayor Tiffany and running up the taxpayer dollar for her? Next, let's talk dining. Wow. Mayor Tiffany and her comrades love spending money on extravagant meals, like $427 at Theo's Steak and seafood and $426 at Hamada of Japan are just the tip of the iceberg. In fact, in the first two billion periods of 2023, Keith Freeman spent $5,900 towards meals on the Thornton Township card. Which begs the question, folks, is this illegal or merely unethical? Because to me, a public servant should not be balling out on the taxpayer dime. The question of legality is not for me to decide. I'll let the FBI handle that one. Is it legal or illegal? I, it's legal, but I don't think it's ethically right. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I just feel as though, like, you don't have to go spend that much money to, like, say, for instance, y'all want to go to just treat somebody, treat like a somebody who's coming in, you know what I'm saying, to to a nice dinner. I'm sure y'all can go to, to a, a good restaurant and not have to spend that much money. You get what I mean? Okay. Well, what about the, the, the beauty supply? Nah, that part. I'm talking about the food. I I'm ain't talking, talking about I ain't everything just, that he just mentioned. He wasn't talking about everything. He was talking about well, the, the food part. I'm talking about everything. But the, the beauty supply, hell no. Nah. Not her hair. Okay. So what's your what's your hair have to do with your business? What's well, your hair have to do with being a mayor? Is, I don't feel like... You can be a bald head hoe. I mean, my bad. You don't think it's like what? No, no. I was just about to say my thing is I don't think it should be separated. We just picking like, oh, this is okay, but this is not okay. For me, it's a collective. But whatever. That's for the FBI that's, to. That's the IRS right there. Well, that yeah, as far as the money part, but yeah. And I don't know much. I don't know a lot of information on that to yeah. speak. Hey, Tiffany watches this video and you could say a message directly to her. <laughs> what would you want to say? Just resign. Just leave. Let me do my job. If you're going to be a public servant, you better act like it or mm -hmm. get the hell out. I'll see you in jail. Uh, I would like for you to repent for the sins that you have done or go to jail. We've gone through all this where there's no transparency, seeing where money's been misspent, unfortunately. It's beyond something I think that could be repaired and fixed at this time. It's time to go. Pulling up to a strip mall to talk to a business owner, Dr. Scott, that is been screwed by the mayor. Let's see what she has to say. Next, we meet Dr. Scott, who recently bought a strip mall in Dalton. She's trying to bring much needed services to the community, like a free food bank that functions like a grocery shop, but she's struggling against Mayor Tiffany's attempts to drown her out. Everyone I asked about Dr. Scott says she's like a saint and can't believe this is happening to her. Let's meet her and hear her story. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too. We're a nonprofit organization. We acquired this entire strip mall to bring additional programs and services to not just Dalton, but the Southland of Cook County. The shelves aren't full now, but by tomorrow, we will have 
have all the shelves full and the, the numbers indicate how much of each item they can have. This area here, when we purchased the property, the idea was to open up, you know, a thrift store to give people access to quality items. We have not been able to do that. How long has this been sitting vacant for? July. And you still have to pay property taxes. Yes. You still have to pay rent. You still have to pay overhead, insurance, I still, all of that. I still have mortgage. I still have insurance. I do partner with other organizations that give me volunteers, but I do have a small team that we have to pay payroll because we still function. We still try to serve the community by having the grocery store available. If this isn't able to be funded, whose pocket does it come out of right now? <laughs> Mine. Cities can have layers of bureaucracy that keep you from running your business and making money. And the longer that they keep this vacant, the longer that you have to foot the bill and the longer that they cost their own people. This in particular makes me mad. But I wonder what, like, what exactly is she doing for keeping them from being able to, like, what exactly are they're not being able to pass codes and stuff like that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I wonder, like, what, like, strategies, because obviously this is something that can benefit the community. This is what the mayor should be pushing is for is a better. Is it some type of, it has to, is it some type of, like, funding? I don't. The, the, that's the. When it comes to like those, I don't know. Yeah, uh, you know, I like don't... what exactly? Yeah. Like, like what can you actually do to prevent someone from, especially when it's something like nonprofit? I forgot what the the thing is. Yeah. You see someone actually willing to take a risk like she is and they're preventing her from doing it, it's not a good thing. All of this space is to expand the grocery store. Right now, it's just being used as storage. Now, this room here is when we're able to do a pop-up fundraiser. We have things that have been donated to us that we sell to the community. All the clothes and things you see are a dollar, shoes are two dollars. Wow. I received a letter from the village telling me that I needed to have these six things in order for them to even begin to think about giving me permits. And that package was architectural drawings, which I've already submitted to the village, but they wanna have a state certification stamp on those drawings. And just a number of different things that they were asking for as though I were building a building. I'm trying to do simple renovations to get us back up and running. Boring, and they're, paint, light. Yeah, they're requiring us to do a number of things that someone who is building a structure would need to do. For the type of work I'm trying to do, it doesn't require everything that they were listing. They wanted to come in and do a occupancy inspection. I didn't request the occupancy ins inspection and so I said no. You cannot because do it. Because what they were trying to do is come in and write you up for everything. Absolutely to shut me down. When we were closed down down for two weeks because we had flooded. There was a mother who drove up with three kids in the car asking if we were open because she didn't know how she was gonna feed her kids. That is what matters to me. If you could say a direct <laughs> message to Tiffany, what would you say right now? It's really unfortunate that you sit in the seat of yes power. In my eyes, you did not do the right thing. I have no idea why you chose to stop something that could benefit the community that you love. You know, you grew here, everybody else flew here. But I said to you when I met with you to see my heart and know that I want to help the community. But I said this, that's where the politics be very much so, like very lie driven. And you, once you, this, this can get so deep. Because my, my thing is for, because what she's trying to do seems so good for the community. And I I just can't fathom to, like, think as to why you would even want to stop someone from doing something. Reason that why could possibly benefit. Reason why it's not like she doesn't want to like benefit the community. That's what she I'm saying. wants to. She wants to continue to monetize for the community. So it's all about monetization if, and control. If they start going here for cheaper mm -hmm. products mm -hmm. then those stores don't so i need y'all to go to those stores spend more money yeah so they can be forced to pay more taxes that and which also grocery tax yeah that all this stuff goes and, to and, the city and, and to the state and then i get some of that money and and yeah i definitely i get that but at the same time you do have other people that's in the same community that she can't don't care. afford she don't care I know she don't, and it's 
It's effed up. But it's a lot of them. A lot, a lot of your local mayors don't care. They don't get. They don't give. Even a if they grew up there, they even do if not they care. A lot of them are very boastful and they they and care about themselves. It. You see it a lot. Yeah. One way we fight corruption is with our vote. Another way is with our dollar. I'm gonna donate 500 of my own money to this cause to keep this food pantry open and running, so that the city can't squash her out of business, so she can help the people. I started the rally around Dr. Scott GoFundMe. I put 500 of my own dollars in. Let's flood this lady with money. Let's see what we can do as a YouTube community. And this is also a way to stand against Mayor Tiffany. Link is in my description. Let's blow her up. Thank you guys. Let's blow it up. Let's fund this. And let's give a big giant f you to the Mayor Tiffany. If you try to approach her township, her fortress, what happens? The police gonna come and uh... I'm up for the challenge. Let's head over to her township and see if we can speak to her or people that might know more about this story. Good luck to you. Yeah, good luck on that. <laughs> if you need my oh, money, just <laughs> call me. <laughs> Hello there. Yeah, as you can tell, some of the city officials don't want to talk about what's been going on, but let's talk about the motorcade that Tiffany uses to roll around town like she's some sort of crime boss. We did some digging and we found the receipt from the car dealership that Tiffany leased these Tahoes from. On just one of these Damn. Tahoes, with a retail price of $93,000, Tiffany overpaid by nearly $56,000. I don't know if she's the worst negotiator on the planet or if there's something fishy going on here, but this is a shining example of how Tiffany has That's failed the hardworking taxpayers of Dalton. It's purchases like this that is led the town to be millions of dollars in the deficit. We're probably not gonna be able to talk to many of these people because they know that they're guilty, allegedly, but let's go into the township and see what we can find. I love bringing justice to a city. Is Mayor Tiffany, would you say, a hero or villain? Hero, of course. Why is that? Everything she's promised, she's done. Get the garbage picked up properly. <laughs> he look like he on payroll. He look like one of them dudes that be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yo. He, got, he got him a nice whip, got a nice car. He go golfing on, on the weekend. Yeah. You are, I already know what type of player he is. Uh, there, are, there are a lot of improvements. Like nice. Chef and amusement park for the kids on Greenwood Avenue. Are you a citizen? Are you an employee of the city? I'm a citizen. Yeah, I've lived here for almost 32 years. Did we talk to some people who are really upset about some of her spending? She's buying $150,000 vehicles. The fact that she's bought an ice rink basically for herself. Mm. The naysayers are saying some really damning things about mm -hmm. her. What do you right. think about that? There's this drumbeat to try to remove her. I don't know if it's because of her youth or what it is. So would you say financially she's spending the taxpayer money appropriately? I think so. Why do you think the FBI is in town right now. There's a lot of hubbub and a lot of stuff going around, stuff, people talking and me personally, as a citizen of the city, I haven't seen anything overt. We just talked to business owners across the street in that mm -hmm. strip mall mm -hmm. that are not getting permitted and licensed to open up things that will help the community. A lot of these people are saying because they don't donate directly to her campaign, mm -hmm. you get stripped of your business license or you're not granted a business license. Oh, that's interesting. I've never heard of that. If there's such a thing going on, Yes, that for sure. If you... I'm hearing a lot of allegations, sure. but I have not seen anything concrete. Hello, sir. Hey, good. How are you guys doing? Oh, good. We're just doing a story. We've heard controversy about the mayor, and we're here to see if she's a hero or a villain. What is your take, sir? No, I don't have a take. I'm saying, what, what, are, you, what are you here for? You're just taking... Uh... We're running a video right now. But you got to get permission to do that. In a public area, sir? Yeah. I don't believe so. This is a public area, huh? Okay. Which means you get to film in public. There she is, right there. Oh, is this a public area? Yeah, but we don't, you have to get a by the to take pictures of people here. You cannot be in here. Wait, wait, isn't this a public area though? Come on out, come on out. Wait, is this a public area? Come on out, gentlemen. Can you ask that, sir? Step out, please. Is this a public area? Sir, please step out. I don't know. Okay, this is legal. That's a police officer saying that. Sir, can you explain to us a little bit? I will not. The man you see here is Deputy Chief Lacey. While you might look at him and think he's a Walmart version of Detroit urban survival, he actually is a man with a disciplinary report thicker than the Bible. He currently has three active lawsuits against him. All three of them allege violations of the Constitution for the acts he is committing. Let me share some of his past actions with you so you can get a picture of the man he is. Let's mm. That's crazy. That's, That's somebody that's... who likes to throw around their authority too. Yeah, most definitely. They're like, yeah, I, I'm, running, I'm the big boss here. I, like, I really hate people. Like, I don't hate. I very Strongly much so dislike. dislike people yeah. who uh, likes to throw around their authority just because they were, yeah. I I try not to get into like the politics side of stuff, but can 
can react to a video like this without getting into it. Yeah. But, like, he is on the public grounds. You know what I'm saying? It, it, uh, they can ask for their face not to be shown. And he can say, hey, I'm, I'm going to make sure it blur, blur you out. From there, he can went in there and just scope out the place. He could definitely record, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, sorry, it's, it's, yeah. it's funded by taxpayers' money. Yeah. So anything that's funded by taxpayer money... I can go and do freely as I, I as I please, as long as I don't violate any laws. Yeah. So, why y'all just hanging around? His petty incidents. One of his reports details him threatening the water company over a three hundred dollar bill he didn't want to pay. He's also what? known for trying not to pay tolls when he drives through them. But things get more serious. Many residents have banded uh, together to note his excessive knows. use of force and his use of the taser. In a twenty twelve incident, he was sued for Fourth Amendment constitutional violations due to excessive force. Lacey lost this case, and the judge ordered payment of twelve thousand dollars for the incident. Wow. In the summer of twenty twenty one, nineteen year old Alexis Will and was shot seven times and killed by Dalton police. Her mom emailed us twice, pleading with us to expose Officer Lacey. Activists Carlos West and Rabbi Michael McQueen protested this killing seven days later, exercising their constitutional right to free speech. However, their rights were violated by Officer Lacey once again when he ordered their arrest without due cause. They filed a lawsuit, and on March 4th, both of these men were awarded $50,000 in settlements. This is So why hasn't he... Why hasn't he been removed from all from his <laughs> that, position? That's a great question. That's the now that's that's, that's, that's when mm -hmm. well technically that's when the mayor is supposed to step in. Also, I guess because he's he's the chief of police, so she also needs to go to him and tell him you need to you know what I'm saying or who you, other other people and I guess the county sheriff should also. When y'all all in this was big he old the sheriff or he the, who hell yeah. I, I think he said deputy sheriff. Yeah, something. No, like I don't that. think he's no. sheriff. I think he, what is captain, I, police chief, police chief, chief. chief. But, but I'm saying is that city. Yeah, it has to be city police or the city. Yeah, yeah. But when y'all all in this big ring of yeah, I don't know how to like the look, power look structure out for is. Each other. I don't know yeah. how the power structure is with that. And yeah, like, how to, yeah. Like who can force him to? I'm you know what I'm saying? Into that. But he should if he didn't lost two lawsuits. Technically, he shouldn't still be in that position of power. You know what I'm saying? He's already showed, basically already proven that he's corrupt. You have two lawsuits that show, come on now. Anybody would be like, hey, your badge, your gun, you gotta, can't be a police officer no more. You done proven, you fired. Yeah the lawsuit and on March 4th, both of these men were awarded $50,000 in settlements. This is one of Mayor Tiffany's lead lapdogs that she uses to control the town through his goonish actions. Another case he was involved in resulted in the largest settlement in Cook County history, $33.5 million. You gotta step over there on, on public property. This is not public property. Okay. Where is the public sir, property? Have a good day. Can you not answer my question, sir? Do you have ID? In Illinois, you have to have ID. Do you we have, have ID? ID. May I see it, please? What is the thing you suspect us of doing? In, in a minute, I'm asking you. This is a public taxpayer area that we're now being step over here, sir. hassled. Step over here. The goons have come out. Okay. Here we, oh, this is quite a response for people Central doing Central a story. Keep so walking, sir. How many police sir. vehicles are coming for this? Yeah. What exactly are you guys trying to accomplish? The mayor. Is she a hero or a villain? No. This is part of the convoy too, guys. The taxpayer sponsored Tahoe is right there. At 150k for a vehicle. Oh wow. That's she's probably in the car. I can tell you, sir. She probably she's probably in the car. Probably, that's what I'm saying. It's probably all she do right around all day. And trying to see, and trying to see, which is funny about the taxpayer. Funny, exactly. <laughs> so she gives no care to where she has no care to where. Bro, this is just. Sad, bro. Not riding dirty in the slightest, so there's nothing you'll find in. Sir, can you do me a favor? Sure. Can you have your guys sit in the car, please? What? No. Are you sure? No. You want us to do something off camera? I'm, no. I'm surrounded by six people. I'm not going to about to do yeah, that. Yeah, step back real quick. Can you please tell me why you step refuse back. to say what the public area is that you want me to go to? Tommy G, they call me. Milwaukee representative. Uh, Everybody cams on. In Milwaukee, you can literally steal a car and rob a bank and not this many cops show up. So once I come up clean, then what? Who else got ID? Coming back. Go get your ID. For what? Hey, go get your ID. Unlock the car so you can get his ID. It's not a request. Oh, it's not a request. No, not at all. Mm -hmm. You know you're lying right, 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 right. in Illinois. For what? Get it right. I know who you are. Get your information. Get it right. That sounds like a threat. Coming back. Valid. Hey, dude, nice job. You're valid, dude. Good to see you. I'm legal, so. 
Okay, gentlemen, have a good day. Are you gonna get in your vehicle? Yeah, I'll get in mine, you get in yours. Hey, go to your car. Have a good day. What the f <laughs> is going on, these <laughs> motherfuckers? I get into it. We should probably get before they like. That's intimidation. This is why the trustees did not want us to come here. Jesus Christ, right, dude. <laughs> is this something that someone that's innocent would be doing? <laughs> Look, business. Shut down, shut down, and shut down. Mayor Tiffany, when you go to jail, there will be many people applauding it. I think there's only 20 police officers or something like that in Dalton. Ooh. Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Oh yeah, that's Deputy Chief Lacey. He's the biggest jerk of all. Officer Lacey, you wanna handle this like a real man? I will pay you a week's salary. Any gym in <laughs> Illinois or Wisconsin, I'll meet you there. I handle it like men. If I lose, I give it to you. If I win, I donate to charity. And I'm pretty sure you're gonna keep your little butt in the office. You're not gonna take up a real challenge. I don't f with bullies. You try messing with the water bill company when they're trying to collect their bill from you. You try messing with the toll people. You have a long history, longer than a Harry Potter book, of you messing with the citizens of your city. Come here like a real man and sort it out, but or you can say you're scared little butt in the office. You pick. You're built like a fucking potato. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love funny, it. funny, funny. I didn't even get to the part where Is I tell you public area? that she's had me arrested. What? Yeah, for picking up her campaign literature off my windshield of my car. You got cut. Yes. Eight months of them continuing, you know, the court hearing for wow. the case to be dropped by the state's attorney's office for lack of evidence. Was where we were public area. Yes. Inside and so see that's a that's crazy. That's abuse of abuse of power, yes, bro. Yes, yes, indeed it is. Which is which is a offense, right? For somebody who's in in um some type of political mm -hmm. office and position, you can't like. Can't you be? Baby, just got my head hurt because I couldn't. I couldn't. Just got my head hurt. That's crazy, bro. Seriously, I would be. I can. I can live in. It's a lot of places like like we always say. I'm glad I've brought up and live in the areas I live in because I can stand living in a city like this. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying. And so so many people like you ask people in situations like this, why don't you just leave? But it's like why should I run away from my home? And I get it. I 100 yeah. percent get it. But also sometimes it's just better off just like there's better opportunities elsewhere. You know what I mean? Especially young, younger people. Now, the older people, I get it. Mm -hmm. Especially because she's young. She came in here. The city probably was, at some point, doing a better better job than what right. it's doing now. And it's like, we got to get... They trying to figure out some type of way we got to get this young chick who's literally abusing her power out of here. But also, with that being said, it's a lot of people who probably don't want the job because of the stipulation that comes behind behind her. After you get the oh, job, yeah. like nobody wants will want that job at twenty five. A lot of cleanup, a lot of lot of cleanup, a lot of things you have to do for lack of income. Yeah. So a lot of people want to take your jobs, and she's gonna keep the job. And then she done finessed her salary to three hundred thousand when from well, it would have been fifty to three hundred to three hundred because That's, she wasn't elected. She was, she was given a, a job, yeah. so she figured out like how the. That's the same. And obviously, if you are elected, you're fifty thousand. They can't afford three hundred thousand. You would think not, right? They can't. That's the reason why they're in so much debt. And then you saw the lawsuit was for what thirty some million for a police chase. Thirty three point five. Yeah, that was that was to like the that, city. Yeah. So the city still owes that money. Yep. And she's wasting even more money. We were, we were escorted out, made it seem like we were doing something illegal, taking our IDs, pressed, they wouldn't tell him that if we didn't give him our ID, they were gonna do something. He had threats to us. You've done the FOIA request, you have all the documents. What kind of stuff have you seen in those documents that catches your attention? Things that stand out, obviously, are the travel. I mean, it's huge. About two trips a month, three to six days for every trip. I would say 95% of them are unrelated to the township. You know, she went to Portland, Oregon for some conference called the Her Voice, like a women in power leading other women to God. Anybody who knows when you're using taxpayer funds, when you start putting religion into 
it, it's a touchy situation because you govern in the township 190,000 voters. Not all of them believe the same thing you do. How is she living when she goes on these trips? It's outside of her, her own pay scale. That's how she's living. She's not living a $300,000 a year life like she's making. She's living a, a million dollar life because she's keeping her money and spending ours. You get a $600 per day per diem. You don't turn in receipts for those. Which is a which very generous per diem. You shouldn't be swiping the credit card for anything, ma'am. Why do I see all of your meals on here? Why do I see your hotels on here? Why what kind of hotel is she? So she got a $600 per day per diem. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. That's, yeah. God. Damn. It really is. $600. I'm going to just do this. Times 365. That's 290. Man, I would love that. And right you there. putting that away, but spending the tax for, like, come on now. Why be for real? Like she said, I shouldn't see the meals. I shouldn't see you getting your hair done. I shouldn't see hotels. There's, like, I shouldn't see all of this stuff. That should not even be on there. You should not be swiping that card for your personal endeavors or whatever the case and may be. Honestly, technically, she got a personal vehicle because the Tahoes are is, knowing she got, a, over, a, she got a show, show for her on payroll. So you got a driver. You got lavish cars, brand new lavish cars. I wonder how long has she been in this position? And that's, that's another thing question. I'm thinking about, yeah. too. That's a good question. Is it fancy? Yeah, Hyatt, Hilton's, Four Seasons. Four Seasons? Oh, yeah, you name it. Just the best of everything for her. Yeah. Flying first class to Las Vegas. Her and Keith Freeman. I know the news didn't say that. He put out her $3,700 flight for herself. She bought a $3,700 flight to, to Las Vegas. Vegas. But Keith Freeman's flight was the same amount. Her and Carmen Carlisle had, you know, $1,600 flights to Atlanta. Where is she eating? What kind of places is she going to when she eats on the oh, road? Steak houses, lobster, anything you could think of loss. that would be high-end dining for high the most end. part that's where they're eating now that looked a little different in their little bike ride to Springfield for her non-for-profit on those trips they stayed at Hampton Inn they're bike riding and they have a, a full-on DJ being pulled on a trailer behind them uh -huh. and they're blocking off streets for this what else is outrageous that you've seen now that you get to now that you're privy to the books the amount of money she's spending on her PR that's probably running Thornton Township about $25,000 a month. So um, taxpayers, they're not only paying for the front end of all the bad stuff she's spending money on, but they're paying for the PR cleanup on the back end as well. Absolutely. What would it take to just remove her from office? She was recalled. The residents voted to remove her from office. What was the percentage vote to recall her? It was about 56%. We were at about 1,900 to remove her and about 1,300 said to leave her. Her salary is 224,000, but if she doesn't get reelected, the person that takes over would get 25000 so, and that's a way to deter people from running against her? Mm -hmm. The previous supervisor was in his ninth term. Now you can see the $200,000 salary because he worked for it for 32 years. Yeah. She keeps his salary because the law for township municipality says if you take over his term, you complete the term. Whereas mm -hmm. in a regular municipality, like if a mayor passed away and the board appointed somebody, the next municipal election, that mayor would have to run. That seat would be up. But in the township, it doesn't work that way. You finish the entire term. My previous boss had passed away eight months into his term, so she had a full three years to, to finish. So she gets to keep his, his pay. What would happen, though, if she ran in 2025 and she won? She would have went to a first-term salary. The pay scale was changed dramatically because she made it that she keeps the salary she has now. Anybody else goes down to 25. There's no more salaries by term. She removed that. Is there anything positive you can say about this? Yeah, I will does. say she has some ideas that I think are great. You know, the ice rink, it's beautiful. Visually, it looks nice. Had that been done right and had there been a plan in place, a, a plan for revenue, a plan, you know, for long-term maintenance, a plan on how we were gonna bring people out to make sure that the cost was covered at minimum. This could have been good things for the community. Because of the choice to always do things in a me, me, me manner, it never feels like it's for the community. All of the qualities that we see now that are like these big beast qualities, those were were all there when she was just little Tiffany Henier that was a trustee here in Dalton. They just magnified with the money and the power. I got let go from the township. I was oh. As she explained a lot. Okay, she yeah. explained a lot for me. Because I was like, where did she like? Where how did she get the position? Get, how she, get, how, she was the already, money. yeah. Basically, the previous mayor worked his tail to get to that, that money by 
increasing the pay year year after year. Yeah, after year. Doing, basic you promotion, know, like, yeah, or pay raise, pay raise, pay raise, pay raise. But now since she was thrown, she got granted that position because I guess he passed. Yeah, she said he passed. Yeah. So she just picks up where the salary is at, and that salary is a tremendous high amount of salary. And then she has. Fix it or whatever. She, yeah. Because yeah. it looks as though whoever would be the mayor, you would have to keep your job, your nine to five job, but take on another, another job. Another job because the pay will only be 25K. And nobody, but she doesn't have to go do that because. And, and you know, no one is going to want to have to run. <laughs> run for office. Run for office. Run up against you. Run for, you know. Or they the also they probably don't have the finance to run against you either because that's a lot of money. That that'll be in a the lot campaign. Of and then when you think about it, I be it's not worth it. Thank you. My bad. Were you trying to say that? I want but I was trying to say that. I be I was just about to say you're like dishing out more than you're getting back. Yeah. So yeah, in the end it won't be worth it. <laughs> yeah. It won't be worth it. And so she knows that no one's gonna run up against me. She forever had a job unless she go down for all the stuff that she's doing. And then will somebody get appointed in her position, do they get the salary? How how would that work since it'd be more of like a push, like, you know, if she yeah. get arrested or, you know, convicted for I, something? From there, I don't think anyone uh, should should just be granted that position. I think y'all should just do immediate uh, election. Yeah. Just so it wouldn't happen again. True. This manager for 20 years. I was getting ready to retire. Yeah, I went on vacation. When I came back off vacation, I was locked out of my office. was told that I had to see Keith Freeman for my keys. I set up in the, at the township three days in the lobby, getting paid, you know, waiting for my keys. And on the fourth day, I said, forget it. I just took two sick days. Then that Friday, I got a termination letter saying I was terminated. And so your benefits from retiring, or did you not have no, access no, to that? She, she, no, no, she didn't mess with that at all. Okay. We got harassed by Officer Lacey. What can you say about him? He's one of the mayor's lynchmen. He just got appointed that spot when the other police chief resigned. Is there anything in the books that reflect that police officers are getting kickbacks from the mayor? Oh, they're overtime. It averages about 100 hours a pay period for her security. The the one had, he had 303 weeks? hours on one bi-weekly pay period. Most of that at an overtime rate. Check. Yep. A $13,000 check. Absolutely. And that's a cop or security guard? It was her security guard. Folks, this channel does not stand for bullying, so I'm happy to put out this piece about Tiffany and Officer Lacey. I hope that town gets cleaned up soon. And folks, just a reminder to contribute to Dr. Scott's GoFundMe. Let's help her out. And last thing, RIP mainstream media. The independents like me are taking over, and they don't like that. You want to rep the movement? Go to the website. I'll see you guys next week. Peace. It was crazy, bro. That was. At least he brought awareness to the world, though. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing they've been begging for. Well, not yeah. begging, but but looking for assistance from. Yeah. Is the fact that they needed somebody to help them make awareness of the situation because yeah. all their cries are not being heard. And it's just not her. It's no. the police chief. It's the Keith dude. It's too many of them. That, so many. So many that you having to fight against. And they all reaping the benefits from her because she's like, hey, I'm the mayor and I'm going to just continue to approve this. Yeah, and and so they're benefiting. So why why stop? Facts. And then for a lot of people, it may be fear of even speaking up against. You know what I'm saying? If you getting allegedly getting people out, shot up. Yeah, you nah, know what that, I'm saying? Nah, like that's, crazy. that's that's insane. Now nah, that's crazy. I don't know if you if there's a way you can 100 percent prove that. Yeah, like now nah, that's the bad part of it. But yeah, you never know what people are capable of. To be real, and some people are capable of doing things that you would never think they'll ever do in their life. Facts. So, Facts. hey man, y'all spend most up. Y'all let us know how y'all feel about it in the comment section down below. I think there does need to be a shaking amongst in that community in that township it's not even a city it's a township My bad. <laughs> with that being said man y'all continue to spend most up in the comments let us know y'all thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below but as always I do go with the name DJ the kid this is we are we are. <laughs>